In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Mermico chart in Microsoft Excel mean variable column width chart in Microsoft Excel. We have three column of data. The first column are the item name, the second column total sale and the third column is weighted percentage of total sale for each of the item. And now you can see we have created a very nice chart. In this video, I will show you how to create the data label, how to create the outside data label as well. And if you have data, something like this one, this chart is very, very useful. So I will show you each and everything. Just follow me till the end and you will learn some amazing easy formula as well. The first thing I will simply select all of my data sheet, hit control C, create a new worksheet and simply control V to paste my data sheet. The next thing I will create a helper column here and I will simply write 1, 2, 3 up to 10 which is actually my last item. The next thing I will create a series starting from 1 till 100. So I will use sequence function here. How many rows you want? 100 rows, close parenthesis, hit enter and we get CDs starting from 1 till 100. The next thing we need to write repeat function. Open parenthesis, what is the text you want to repeat? I want to repeat this text, hit comma and how many times you want to repeat? Person of total column but in this case this is a percentage I will select the entire column and I will simply multiply this with 100 close parenthesis hit enter and now you can see 1 is repeat 10 time 2 is repeat 8 time and similar for all other value but we need to add delimiter so I will simply click on formula again and percent quotation mark Pipe symbol quotation mark again and simply hit enter. The next thing we need to use text join function to convert all of this array into one single array. Open parenthesis. What is the delimiter? In this case, my delimiter is blank. And for the ignore empty, I will simply define true, hit comma. And for the text, this whole is my text. I will simply write closing parenthesis, hit enter and this is how we convert all of our value into one single array. And now I can easily use text split function, open parenthesis, what is the text? This whole is my text, hit comma for the column delimiter, I will skip this parameter and for the row delimiter, I will simply write quotation mark, five symbol quotation mark close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we get a new series on which one is repeat 10 time two is repeat eight time and similar for all other number now i will simply click here equal and i will use transpose function and i will select all of my item in this case i have 10 item close parenthesis hit enter the next thing we need to write a very simple xlookup function xlookup open parenthesis what is the lookup value so this first array is my lookup value you can see hash symbol is added since this is dynamic array and percent and i will click on g2 and simply write hash and now you can see entire array has been selected for the lookup array i will select my first series which is item and percent and my helper column which is 1, 2, 3 up to 10 and for the return array I want total sale so I will select the entire total sale column hit comma and if not found I will simply write 0 close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we get 450 repeat up to 10 time 380 repeat up to eight time the next thing is very very simple I will click anywhere on this array click on insert recommended chart and now you can see all chart option here you can see column chart and simply select this column chart the next thing we need to do a little bit formatting so i will click on the cds right click format data series in this case the gap width i want zero percent and for the series overlap hundred percent and this is how our chart is ready but we need to define this single series instead of multiple series. So I will simply click on select data, click edit. 
and instead of define dual series i will simply define single series hit ok and hit ok again and now you can see our chart is almost ready next thing i will show you how to add data label so first thing i will simply hit ctrl x to cut this chart create a new worksheet ctrl v to paste this chart and i will increase the chart area a little bit more so to add a data label you need to first click anywhere on the series and now you can see we have multiple series so i just select one single series click on plus and click data label if you click data label more options label options here you can see category name as well and series name so series name value and simply define inside base in this case or inside end simply change the font color to white increase the font size and this is how we add our data label let's say you want to add data label for this one series so simply click and since this is combination of multiple series so click only one series click data label more options label option and in this case series name item in this case let's say i'm just going to define outside end but i just need to drag manually a little bit and this is how we can update our data label a little bit manually and i will change the font color to black font color and the same is for all of the series simply click data label more data label options and simply define series and in this case let's say i want inside base i can manually adjust the position change the font color to white increase the font size and this is how we create mermico chart in microsoft excel i hope you learned something useful from this video i will share this template with you and all of the formula if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video if you have anything specific in mind just write me comment thank you so much